everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Create Mod being played by yours truly, Blue Kalu. And yep, we've got a problem. Actually, we have a lot of problems. Since the last episode, if I'm being completely honest, uh, we've kind of digressed. I've lost a lot of things to lava. I mean, I've gained some things. I've done some exploring and stuff. But yeah, I uh, lost my goggles. I lost my wrench. And, uh, oh, I also lost all of the, the pointed dripstone. Not to mention, we still have this mess right here. All these, these unorganized chests. This, these are slightly organized, but these unorganized chests. And there's more just all over the place. Those over there. Uh, we got a bunch of just eggs right here. Also, I've been working in here too and, and making some contraptions. This is just so that I can have some gravel to do the lava removal. But I did work in here a little bit. Uh, but once again, problems. I uh, This windmill doesn't produce enough power. So I built this steam engine which is also not producing enough power at the moment because I don't have lava because I don't have pointed drift stone. <laughs> problems, problems, problems. But you probably caught this building over uh, out of the corner of your eye as I've been running around here. This will be a huge solution for our storage issue. I'm really excited to uh, move all of that in there. And uh, can you guess what it is? It's a bank, just a classic looking bank, and it fits really well with the style of the things that I'm going for here. Just, it has kind of that, that old, uh, uh, like, uh, I don't know, Roman, but also uh, kind of like classical look. It's very classical. And, and this isn't going to be, this isn't going to be anything special. This is just going to be storage underneath the ground and, and stuff like that. But it's just a case. Now, this material is my, let's see if I have more. Limestone. Limestone is my new favorite block in the crate mod. It's not in real Minecraft, but it, I love it because you don't get this cream, this uh, dirty cream color in Minecraft. Quartz is is almost like a little bit too bright and yellowish where this, you, you kind of tone it down. So I, I love how that turns out. So first things first, before we get into that, I just started that building and, and we'll finish it during the episode. But uh, first things first, I wanted to get to uh, healing these guys because this has been, I've been scratching my head over this whole building and these villagers and I like this building, but I just feel like they're not going to fit into this area. So we're going to move them to a separate location to just get some breeding going and then maybe we'll, we'll come up with a new style for building. But I want to get new villagers today because all my gear is just awful and they will not stop growling at me. So what we're going to need to do is just the classic way of, uh, here's my brewing stand. Uh, we're going to need to brew some potions. Let's see, I don't think I've got any more glass, so I'm gonna just cook some of it up. Oh, there's my gold. I've been collecting gold because I need it for these apples, uh, which by the way, uh, okay, I go, oh, good, I still have some apples. Okay, three golden apples is all we are going to need. This makes three bottles, which is perfect, and I don't even think I need this many fermented spider eyes, to be honest. I, honestly, we don't even need this this many of these. So that's perfect. We'll have everything we got. We need, yes. All right, there's our splash potions. Yes, local brewery. Yes, we'll have to do a, a brewery here. I think maybe like a bakery and brew or something. I don't know. This is going a lot faster than I thought already, which is good because that never happens. I'm going to just build a barrier so that these guys don't get splashed, hopefully. I know, I know. It's all, it's frustrating to be sick. Okay, okay if I throw that right there, I think that gets all of them. Yes, and the very loud noises. And these guys are without weakness. Perfect. Just remember to not ever leave the doors open, okay, when you're trying to do this. And hey, we'll get good trades too out of these guys. That's good. I'm just going to leave these in this chest right here just in case we need them. Because, of course, these chests are very well organized. Now, while they're healing up, let's go ahead and build them a little breeder. Oh, yeah, I've, I've been testing stuff too. It's been a little while, to be honest, but I... I haven't done a, I've tried to keep the progress very minimal right now for, so that I don't, you know, uh, leave you guys out of, of the progress here. But before we get started on that, I have an idea that I would like to share with you guys, which is instead of having like a villager area, since we're making a town here and it kind of fits, you know, with a lot of different stuff, we split them up a little bit. So this area would be where the librarians are 
And then we would have like armor and weaponsmiths and stuff in here and uh, maybe like some masons. So like we, we uh, expand this building a lot so that there's a lot of them here. And then we have farmers over there and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So I, I don't know. That's kind of what, oh, maybe librarians in the bank. That would be good too. I think that would make it more immersive. Then I don't have to focus on another build just for them. And, and I, I'm not finding a lot of creativity for that, to be honest. So let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Okay, and look at that. They're already changing back as we speak here. Yep. Oh, hopefully he's not too close. I'm not going to go in there. Oh, a man. Dripstone. Well, it looks like everybody healed up nicely, and I have created the breeder station. Now, it's not going to be automatic or anything like that, but I don't need it to be. I just need to go and throw bread at them every now and then, so that's just fine and dandy. And uh, yeah, I, I've never seen a contraption made like this, but I had this idea where uh, we basically have them drop onto this water block that has a powered rail on it that's underneath water because you can waterlog them now because I think that will actually stop the babies from being able to get under because they're just going to try to float. So we'll see how that works. Uh, but I always have trouble trying to get them out and, you know, getting around the glass and that kind of stuff. So hopefully this will work if we just, uh, if we just do it, do it. The, I'll show with you with, with one of the carts that I get from one of these guys. Now, who is going to be our guinea pig? I feel like since this guy's got the good trades. I don't want to put him up there. Actually, all these guys. So maybe these two. Let's see if we can get this first guy just straight up in there without any issues at all. Yes, very good. Drops right in. Perfect. Now, I want to just like give this a quick test run. I know it won't be perfect without anything in it. I think that's going to work. I think that's going to grab somebody. So let's get guy number two. And uh, this poor guy just, he died. He died. Guy number two, away you go, up the hill, and uh, into the snow. Okay, and you guys, I'm just going to put a door back on this, and we will we will deal with you three later. They're both uh, not in there. I thought they were inside. Okay, but at the very least, let's try this. Th uh, okay, that was a failure. First one fail. Don't push each other off. Don't. D okay, they're they're tossing and swapping. Are they in love? Okay, so we're just gonna leave them be. Just like that, uh, did he, what? So let's get to the next thing. I'm going to actually leave this for last. So if you wanna see me do the storage and then see a time lapse of this being built, then uh, stick around, please, till the end of the video. And I'm just gonna take a moment to say that if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to this video. So the actual next thing that we will work on is this. I have been so excited to work on this project. So let's get started. Now, this is the coolest thing ever, okay? So this area is where we're gonna put the storage for all the farms, so just like bulk storage. And check this out. It's a straight line, it's perfectly centered. So we are in business. This is already set up to straight away just send on a conveyor belt and come this way and fill in with all the carrots and potatoes. And this aligns perfectly with the back wall. So we got one alignment and then two. Okay, how am I gonna do this though? I'm just gonna dig out a little bit more area that I can work with. So I've got a line coming from here, going this way, and we don't particularly need these to go super fast. So it's okay if it's just kind of gonna roll along because we don't really get a lot of produce super quick. So we'll, we'll not worry about that. So I actually just realized that we don't need to raise this at all because we can just have that plop everything straight down onto the conveyor belt to go this way. So same with this one, we, we can just have the, it drop straight on, and then that means that our conveyor belts can both be at the same height. Yep, just like that, it's working. Just slowly, slowly bringing the carrots into the system. All right, here we have it. So I have, I created a device to put uh, these, everything that's coming off of all of the conveyor belts all up into the chute that goes up and then goes across these filters and then drops down into these chests. So now we have bulk storage for all of this. Now let's see if this is gonna work. We just gotta throw on our mechanical belt. And it should be dropping. Uh, uh oh, uh, oh, it is going in there. Okay, so that, I uh, don't need a vanilla solution. I can just go back here and just pop that on right there. Uh, perfect. Now it's, now it's working. Now it's working. 
Okay, so this should all work. The only thing I don't have is is uh, two more of, uh, what are these called? Hoppers. But if I check in here, that's carrots, beetroots and beetroot seeds, and uh, seeds. I don't know why I did it this way. Seeds and wheat. There's seeds and wheat in there, so that's that's everything. That means this whole thing is working. So now I, I uh, can just get rid of all the stuff that's in my inventory. Now that this is all done and dusted, let's move on to the workshop upstairs. I'm thinking multiple levels. So most of the stuff that I want to have is going to just be down here. Easy access, like stuff like this that I just want to like throw uh, some, you know, iron or zinc or, or copper onto, get it either smashed or mixed or grinded or whatever. I want to have all of this down here on the main level. I might keep it like towards the center and just like rebuild some of this a little bit, but we'll see about that. And talking about the aesthetics, this is the style that I was kind of thinking to just keep going with the uh, dark oak and then do something kind of like this. I, I really like these walls are really, really cool. And then we can put pipes on top of them and look at that. It's like a pipe variant in this so and i think that this color matches really well with with uh the dripstone uh the dripstone cut dripstone block uh blocks and then we're gonna have ladders going up and then i think that's how i want to get to the top eventually is just you have to kind of work your way up instead of like an elevator or just a big long ladder so yeah let's take it away and would you just take a look at this beautiful workshop we've got all of these these little uh, starter things now we've got this next level that i haven't really started completely on yet. And we're gonna have to figure out this mess because uh, there's no other way for me to do that. I think I'll just cover it up. We'll we'll make it a little bit more narrow up here and, and uh, still make our way up to the top. Over here, we've got a grinding area and uh, yeah, I've got my cobblestone there because um, I need gravel for the lava removal project, which by the way, watch me on stream and I will have a dedicated episode for that. So don't worry about that. And here's our mixer, which there's nothing in here right now, but uh, it automatically goes out here. So if I put in the zinc and the copper, then uh, yeah, it'll just, it'll, it'll mix it automatically. Over here, we've got our smasher and I set up two just, you know, just in case we need two. And this goes pretty quick. Let's see if I got anything to smash in there. I'll show you with these copper sheets. See, boom. You see that? You see that speed? We never had that before. And this is for doing the mechanical, uh, uh, what you call it the precision mechanism and uh, why is it all the way over here? I have no idea So all we need to do is deploy this at the right stage, which uh, looks like is the very beginning stage So what we could do is we could just throw this on here and pop it goes up You see that Look it just it's so cool and it goes plop it goes right back now. Okay. It does go through there I I'm gonna just put a potato on that right now just so that we don't get that to come through, uh, but basically it'll just keep going around, around and around until it's done. And then we're gonna have a filter on here that that takes it right out when it's when it's finished. So it's so cool. I'm so excited. Okay, well, let's watch it again. Plop. I love this mod. Yes. And just like that, we've got our precision mechanism. Now we can change that so that the filter is the completed mechanism now. And then we could just put this in here. So we're gonna be stacking up this stuff. We All we need now is just a bunch of sheets. And then I did stock these pretty full. So that should go for quite a few precision mechanisms, but uh, this will run out a little bit, but I, we're getting to the point where it's actually not too hard for me to craft all this stuff. Now there has been a little bit of uh, time between cuts here and you can see that uh, I just uh, started from scratch. Uh, but I created this villager breeder that barely works, uh, but it does work. Uh, oh, see, look, we got some villagers, some babies in there, uh, just floating around. But see, you come up over here, and we can come on through. And uh, we have three guys in there, but what I did was I put a bed over there so that, you know, it's more likely that we would, we would get some babies going that way. So uh, with the three guys here, we should have a pretty okay uh thing here which reminds me i need to go feed them again but finally we have a way to get our villagers which is so exciting now i want to check because i accidentally left a room over here i want to make sure that they weren't getting over here somehow okay it looks like they're looks like we're okay but we have some space to work with the villagers on this side which is which is perfect so this is complete okay whoa Wow, okay, I, what? I'm going to deal with them in between episodes at this point, and I want to work 
on this, the final thing, the storage. So let's get a moment of silence for the time lapse. Look at this beautiful building we have created and I have no idea where he came from. And something kind of funny happened to me while I was doing the time lapse. Hello. <laughs> Where'd you sail in from? <laughs> Wait, if I go like this. <laughs> he doesn't have the ability to look straight at me. Not unless I'm right there, but he, he, I didn't know that that was a thing. Anyway, let's take a look inside, it's empty. Just kidding, there's something down here. Look at all the storage, it's so good. Finally, I have something that looks somewhat organized and this room is pretty much complete, uh, except for this. This is gonna be, of course, our enchanting area. And now that we have the storage, I am going to take care of the storage in between episodes, yay. So guys, that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we got a lot done today. The villagers over there, even though that little thing didn't work out, that's okay. We have a, a bank, a vault for all our stuff, and of course, our workshop way over there in the distance. And I am so excited for next episode. Guys, I will see ya. And hey, uh, for those who are watching, who are new subscribers and who want the lava content, it's just gonna take a bit, but I'm gonna, I will do a whole episode just dedicated just to that. Don't worry about that. Preparations are happening. See you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>